In this video clip, we're going to explain to you why the Reserve Bank wants the banks to come and borrow money from it. And what I've done here is to draw again the diagram of how money is created, that banks provide loans, that creates deposits, and that deposits form part of the money supply, therefore money has been created once a bank has given out a loan. Right, then we also said that the banks have to keep a certain amount of cash reserves with the reserve bank and that limits the amount of loans that they can create because they can't create, it limits the amount of deposits that they can hold. Right, now the reserve bank's mandate is to keep inflation under control. They have to keep the inflation rate between 3 and 6 percent and they have only one tool available to do that and that is the repo rate. Now the repo rate is the rate at which the Reserve Bank provides loans to the banks through repurchase agreements. When banks have a liquidity deficit, as we've explained in the previous video clip. They can borrow from the Reserve Bank, and when they borrow, they borrow at the repo rate. Now, this repo rate will affect the interest rate at which banks give out loans. Because that is the, the repo rate is the rate that banks have to pay for the amount they borrow from the Reserve Bank. And therefore, the moment the repo rate goes up, the interest rate at which banks will be willing to lend money to you will also increase. So how will that affect banks? When the interest rate goes up, what will happen, what will happen to the amount of loans demanded. The amount of loans demanded will decrease because it is now more expensive to borrow at the higher interest rate. And therefore, when the amount of loans demanded decreases, it means that the banks can create less money, so the increase in the money supply will become smaller. That means there is less money available in the economy. It will be more difficult for producers and sellers to put up prices and therefore the inflation rate may come down. So that is the way in which the Reserve Bank can use the repo rate to influence the interest rate at which banks provide loan and in that way influence the inflation rate. Because the repo rate is the only tool that the Reserve Bank has available to influence the inflation rate, it wants the banks to come and borrow money from it at the repo rate. And in order to sort of force the banks to borrow from the Reserve Bank, the Reserve Bank has certain instruments that it can use to create or to influence the size of the money market deficit. Now in the next few video clips, we're going to explain a few of these instruments that the Reserve Bank has available in order to influence the size of the money market deficit or the liquidity deficit of all of the banks together.